Hello guys, welcome back. We're just doing a small little update. Here I'm working on the chassis components before they get put into the chassis, making life a little easier for connecting uh, some of the uh, wires and caps and resistors. Here we have our inputs, uh, high and low 1 and 2 channels, channel 1 and channel 2, and our meg, 1 meg resistors all connected ready to go as well as our volumes and tone pot as far as my grounding goes my grounding scheme I'm going to be using a separate run between the components and the board which will connect both the board grounds and my grounding terminals off of the pots and my cap and that will help separate the preamp stage from the uh, power stage and uh, we'll see that a little later on when I do other updates but this is the uh, the one section of components that I worked on and I'll show you the chassis uh, part as well now okay this is the bottom side where the uh, tube sockets are uh, set up and I've done my filament twisted pair run here first they're going to be laying nicely down and tucked in along the edge of the chassis to get them out of the way and they're all done and ready to go. From here, I will be able to uh, work a little more easier with the leads coming off of the board when I actually get to it, which will be the next step once I uh, install my components to the top side, which will be the volumes, tone, and input jacks. And what I'm going to do with my backing board is I will use double-sided tape to attach it in place, and that'll create a barrier keeping the uh, any solder joints and wires from touching any metal surfaces of the chassis and also I have installed the, the different uh, switches and fuse holder and pilot light and then once that's done it'll be on to adding the transformers and getting that all hooked up alright this is a shot of the board just sitting loosely into the chassis and you can see how it starts to get crowded in there pretty quickly I have enough extra lead uh, length to work with so I'm not going to be uh, too stressed with that and I'm going to be running a separate ground line which will connect as I mentioned earlier the board side ground from the uh, from this point here on for the preamp stage and it'll connect up to my input and then from the uh, power side this lead will take care of uh, that side of the uh, board's ground and then onto the power transformer and output and whatnot. So that's where we're at next, and we'll move along from there. Okay, so we're back again, and we have a completed head assembly, I guess you would call it. All input jacks are connected. I've added my grounding, chassis grounding, with this three lug uh, header which actually is connected by a leader underneath the uh, board there. You can't see it, so each terminal is actually connected to the center ground, which is screwed into the chassis, nice and tight. There you can see my grounding header, which takes me to the capacitor at the end of our pots, and everything grounded in the preamp stages are completed. And then we have a ground coming off of our first terminal there which takes us to the grounding at this end as you can see in there and that comes uh, for the uh, grounding for the power end of things and there we have our transformer power transformer and our standby ground switch our fuse our on and off switch and then our pilot light and everything has been connected nicely there here we have the uh, tube socket side of the chassis uh, which would be facing down and we see how my yellow leads are all connected to the proper terminals you won't be able to see it that well but they are I've confirmed it a number of times and compared it to other uh, schematics and our jack sockets and we have our power tubes and rectifier tube and we have our twisted pairs coming out of the transformer, proper grounding, and everything there seems to be fine. Now I did do a power up earlier and it's functioning perfectly fine. 
Um, I'm still waiting for my speaker, so I won't be able to do any testing until I have that connected. And uh, from there, we'll be able to uh, get a good listen to it and uh, be able to test my uh, voltages uh, without the tubes and voltages, DC voltages, I guess, out with the tubes in place. And then we can test it with some actual guitar playing and see how she sounds. All in all, this was an excellent little kit. Um, there's a few challenges with it. Um, nothing that isn't easily overcome by doing uh, some Google searching or by asking questions on different forums that deal with do-it-yourself amp builds, whether it's Electronic Musician or the Fender Forum or the Tube Depot. There are different uh, sources for information and most of the guys are really helpful in that way. This one, uh, one thing, with the power transformers, there is no center tap, um, so it uses a couple of 100k, 100K resistors coming off of the pilot light to ground. I'll need to uh, cover that up as well with uh, some shrink, shrink tubing or something like that. All in all, I'm very pleased with the kit and how well it went together. Um, I made sure I did every section in their own stage. I dealt with the board first dealt with the chassis components separately and as well as um, the grounding system and just took my time and it worked out really well now I'm really looking forward to getting this thing uh, powered up and, and hooked up so I can hear it which may not be for another week or two once I decide on what kind of speaker I want to use which I think will be a Weaver 12 inch 125A which is more of a vintage uh, spec uh, speaker all in all check it out and uh, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised.